Hi, it's Janelle and Mary from Parsons and Parsimony, and today I have done the biggest food shopping, bulk food shopping haul I've ever done, and I want to share with you guys some tips and tricks on how I did it and how you can do it too. So we have two different distributors here. I have my closer one to home that I visit more often, and then one that's about 45 minutes away. Now we'll start with just here, and we'll just move right along. I'll tell you the prices. Some of this was distressed, and by distress, it's either dented or damaged packaging. So some of this is distressed, and some of it I actually paid full wholesale bulk food price. This container of peanut butter was supposedly distressed. Doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it. It was $55 for Teddy's old fashioned all natural peanut butter. And this pail here is 35 pounds. We have made a switch with our family from the normal traditional creamy peanut butter, which has hydrogenated oils and fats in it to the old fashioned. And we've found that we really love this. So that I was thrilled to find that on the distress list. This was on sale for the holidays. This is 15 dozen white eggs. Our chickens are not currently laying because of the cold weather and they are molting. So that was 12, I think it was 12.95, 12.50 for 15 dozen. Wow, what do you have there? What are those? They're peaches, peaches and pineapple. We'll come to those in a minute. This giant bag here is 50 pounds of rolled oats. That's a staple in our house not on the distress list and currently oat prices are pretty high so this was more than i normally like to pay but i needed them so this was 32 dollars and 40 cents for this big bag of oats over here we have some north dakota miller's choice all-purpose flour this is my second choice next to king arthur i love king arthur flour but i can't always get it distressed so if i can't get that this is my next favorite one and this was $13.50 a bag, which these are 50 pound bags. Again, they were distressed. We have two bags of whole wheat fine flour here. Two different brands. I've never used the base steak, but they said it was really good. And then we go back to the North Dakota Mills again. Both of these bags were $7 a piece, which is a steal. I mean an absolute steal for flour. So I picked two of these up. Now we normally don't go through quite this much flour. The last time I bought 100 pounds of flour was in August and here it is the end of November. But Charity has been cooking a lot lately and I wanna be able to get us through the winter time without having to drive so far away. So that's why we bought this huge quantity. And we also have specialty storage containers that we purchased to store this type of food in. And I'll go ahead and put a link for those in the description below. I've also done a video on that, so you can also watch that too. Over here we have a bag of Golden Barrel Extra Fine Sugar. That's just pretty much your standard white sugar and you know sugar is sugar. We don't go through a lot of sugar so this is going to last us a good year, year and a half. But it's much cheaper than buying it in the five or nowadays it's four pound bags. And I paid for that, I paid $19 for that 50 pound bag. Back here we have a box of raisins, and this was a 35, I think it was 35 pounds, right? Or, so I think it's 30. 30 pounds of raisins for $38, and they're usually a little bit more expensive, but it turns out one of the big companies around here that our food supplier supplied all their raisins to went out of business, and the supplier got stuck with all of these raisins. So they were happy to ship these off for a little bit cheaper price. Fine by me. And then this last box here is a box of wild Maine blueberries. They had a freezer issue a few weeks ago, so they started to thaw out slightly, but they were still frozen. But they couldn't sell this to any customer whole for they couldn't sell this to any customer for full price anymore. We got a 30-pound box of wild Maine blueberries for $25. I am one happy mama because we just take those blueberries, we use them on our oatmeal, and that was a steal of price. Usually they sell them for close to $60 to $70, so great price there. All right, so for all the Hillcrest food that you just saw, we paid $243.90. 
We decided we were coming home. We were going to hit our other bulk food distributor because it was right on the way. They had sent me out an email earlier this week saying they had pasta that was really, really super cheap, as well as bacon, which was a little over a dollar a pound, which I wanted to snag. So I said, Art, can we stop there? And Art, being the very supportive husband that he is, said, sure, why not? So we walked on in and turns out the bacon they were sold out of. I'm not surprised. It was such a steal of a price. You know, everybody would want that. But they still had the pasta on sale and it was 20 pounds of, I believe this is rigatoni, for $7.95. That's a steal of a price and what I like best is these are all individually bagged like this. So super easy to handle. I can stick that in my storage like that and not have to worry about changing containers. In the past, we've gone in there and I've asked them, do you have a distress list? And you kind of get the blank stare and the, no. <laughs> but this is a case where it really pays to get to know your local distributor. That, Art has been going there once a month for cheese for us for a good year, year and a half now. And the people know Art by name. That's pretty sad. <laughs> But I said to her, because I don't always go anymore, I usually just send art. I said, do you have anything like distressed or anything? And she kind of gave me the look and I said, like dented cans or ripped bags or anything like that. She goes, oh, you got to talk to that guy behind me. In fact, write down your information and, you know, we'll get back to you. Well, the gentleman was sitting right there who does the distressed and he's like, here, come with me. I'll show you. We have a whole cart of it. Well, apparently they don't publicize they have any of this distressed item. So they had these two warehouse carts rolled up against the wall piled with different distressed goods. Now they too also had flour like Hillcrest did except I had just bought two, uh, 200 pounds of flour and their prices were pretty much as good as Hillcrest. On top of all this distressed cart is this bag of jackrabbit lentils. I usually get black beans and lentils and navy beans are our and pinto beans are some of our staples in our house, particularly in winter time. At the grocery store, the best I can do is a dollar a pound and that's when it's on sale. For this bag of lentils, I paid $18 for 25 pounds, which worked out to be 72 cents a pound. Great price. Definitely a big savings there. Then we jump over here to these cans. Now we don't do a whole lot of canned goods. If the electricity goes out and you don't have power and you can't microwave or things like that, it's really handy to have these just in case. Now you can see these are dented and damaged. They are not bulged. There's nothing wrong with these cans. They just fell off the truck and well, that's how they look and people don't want to buy them that way. So these cans of peas were $2.50 a can. Then the pineapple and these peaches, again, the same thing, dented and damaged cans. These were $3 a can, which is a fabulous price for this type of fruit. So for everything at By George, I spent $93.45. So for everything we bought here, it's right around $330. And Art figured out that this was over 600 pounds of food, which I think we did fabulously. We're gonna be eating a lot of this for the next four to six months, maybe even a little bit longer. And because we also buy our half a cow, our shopping is going to be consisting of pretty much fresh produce only for the winter time. And since I am obviously expecting number seven any day now, I'm not gonna have the time or the energy to go shopping. So this is, this is a real blessing. I am hoping that this video can help you. Make sure you make friends with your local distributor and find some great bargains. If you guys have been watching our channel for any time, you know that periodically I do freezer and pantry clean out challenges. So you're probably looking at me going, Okay, you must be a food hoarder because you're trying to clean everything out and then you just bought all this stuff. Well, the truth is, a lot of this stuff you guys don't see in my pantry because it's not in my pantry. It's actually in our food, our food storage containers in the basement. We just use that on a very regular basis and we do run out of that and that is what a lot of this is. Now, not all of it, like the lentils and obviously the brown sugar and things like that. Those are going to be around for a little bit longer. The only things that would actually go in my pantry are probably the fruit and the peas and those... <laughs> With a family of eight, soon to be nine, 
I'm thinking those are going to go pretty quickly around here. So, okay, call me a food hoarder if you would like. But these are things that I don't think we're going to have any more than six, eight months, do you think, Art? Uh, some of the things, no, most of it will get used up. I think, you know, the sugar is probably, the sugar, the cornmeal, and the lentils are probably the two things that will last the longest out of everything. The eggs, I'll give you a month and a half at best for those eggs to disappear. Peanut butter, maybe two months if Art and the kids don't get too many apples and peanut butter. We do a lot of our own cooking, and so that's what a lot of this is gonna go towards, just our own cooking, because I don't buy our, you know, I don't buy bread at the store, and because I don't do a lot with coupons right now, this is the way we shop. So, I know some of you guys are gonna say, food hoarder, maybe I am, or maybe I'm the wise woman who decided to take advantage of some really great prices and be able to help save our food budget for the year. But whatever the case, I'm really thrilled with all the food that we got, and I think it'll be a blessing to our family. And the takeaway point is get to know your bulk food distributor. And sometimes you can't use the words distressed list. You actually have to describe what you're looking for, like broken bags, dented cans, and maybe they can just help you find some great deals. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you for our next video. Bye! Bye.